Hi, I'm Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions, and today we're going to take a look at Reaper's Folder Tracks. Now, Folder Tracks are a great way to organize your sessions. I use them not only just for organization, but I also use them as my um, uh, instrument buses. So let's look at them and see all about them. I'm going to double click in there and make like a whole bunch of tracks. Maybe one more. Now the first track here, we can make folder tracks. There's like, you see the track number one right there. And there's like this, you can't really see it, but there's like a little gray folder icon. And when you hover over it with your mouse, it turns into a plus sign. And then it says cycles whether this track is a track, a folder, or the last track in a folder. I'm going to click the plus sign and turn it into a folder. As you can see, now everything under this folder is a track that's now in it because I can collapse it down and it's all contained in there. I'm going to open it back up. Now let's say, oh shoot, I put too many tracks in here. I don't, I don't want this track, um, the tracks uh, five and six in this folder. Whatever shall I do? Well, I'm going to left click on track five, shift left click on track six. There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can drag them out, which is a little bit of a pain in the butt. And they, they're, at, they're now out of the folder. But I tend to use, let me undo that. Just, I will click on this plus button again. It will turn it into a folder. But if you click it a second time, it pops anything under it out. So this is the last track of the folder. Like what it says, track is last track in folder. And that's all it is. All right, I'm gonna send, what I usually do is any tracks that are nested within the folder, I will send their routing to the folder and it will automatically disable sending to the master bus, seeing as this folder is already sending to the master. So I'm going to left click on this track, hold down shift, left click on the last track. I'm going to hold down shift, alt, left click, drag up. As you can see, it turns off the send to the master for these nested tracks, and it just sends them directly to this that parent track. It's like, get, just consider this like um, the folder is the parent and anything inside the folder is the children. So the children are just going to the parent and the parent is going to the master fader. And that's how you deal with folder tracks. And you can, you can go as deep with folder tracks as you want. I mean, I can hit um, control T a couple more times. Then I could turn this into a, a, a folder and then kick the other ones out. It will, these will stay nested into this folder, but now these two tracks are nested inside the subfolder that's within this folder. I tend to not do that because it gets a little confusing, <laughs> but if that's how you wanted to set your session up, you could absolutely do it. No right or wrong way to do anything with this. Please leave me any comments or questions below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.